So here's the thing. I love metal and I love dubstep. And there are a few artists who managed to mix these two genres in such an amazing way as Sullivan King. So naturally, Sullivan King became one of my favorite artists of all time. I love his music. I went to see him live a month ago in EDC Mexico, and it was one of the best shows I've ever been to. And he released actually a new album on Monster Cat. It is called Thrones of Blood, and I'm going to review that shit today because, oh my god, it's crazy. It is absolutely insane. So today I'm going to go over each song and say what I like the most about each one because it is such a great uh, album, and I love the artists that are featured here, especially some new ones, some that I also enjoy a lot and i love their music and yeah without further ado i'm gonna go over each one of the singles say what i liked about each one and then continue with a full review of the album So the first single for Thrones of Blood actually came out years ago, three years ago in 2020, Sullivan King released Someone Else, and honestly this song kind of like flew below my radar, I listened to it a couple times, but it's not like the greatest of Sullivan King's hits, I but I still like it, it's one of his first uh, solo, I mean one of, one of his only solo Monster Cat releases, so I was, like I enjoyed it a little bit, but I didn't expect it to be like the first single for such an amazing work uh, that is Thrones of Blood from beginning to end, so yeah I liked it, it's really melodic it has a lot of the elements similar to some of his subsidiary releases which are like more melodic and that's the thing about sullivan king that i enjoy that he is very like versatile with his releases like he is very heavy he can be melodic at several times so i enjoy the song but it's not like one of the, my favorites in the album but after that three years uh, later he released another song that i honestly this is where i think he really kicked off this amazing uh release schedule for the thrones of blood preparing for the album release so in 2022, he came back to Monster Cat, releasing The Dead March, which is a collaboration with Ray Volpe. And honestly, Ray Volpe is one of my most cherished artists because I've watched his uh, growth over the years as a dubstep artist. And this collaboration mixes the best of both of them. I feel like uh, Ray has a very distinctive style. I, I think like the way he, the drop works with Sullivan King's like chaotic, you know, like uh, kind of like screechy uh, dubstep sounds mixed with a guitar. I think it's really good. And also like the chorus for the song is really great. I feel like the build up to those drops are amazing and it just mixes the best out of both artists. I feel like Ray Volpe mix, mixes really well with a lot of artists. He's another one that is really versatile. He has like a lot of melodic songs. He actually just released a song on Ophelia Records, which is really melodic. And he also apparently really great is really great with um, metal stuff. And yeah, he's pretty heavy. He can do a lot of stuff. So I think he works perfectly with Sullivan King. And I just love this song. And also I love the cover art. I feel like this is one of the most amazing cover arts with the Vulture. And it really started uh, like the string of amazing cover arts for um, Thrones of Blood, which is something I really admire the art direction Sullivan King took for this album. So after the Dead March, we have Let Me Go, which is a collaboration with Wooly. And I gotta say, Wooly is another one of my favorite artists, but I, I don't think this collab is as good as their other collaboration, which is Don't Forget Me from 2020. I feel like that one is just such a great song, and it really makes the, me the best out of like both of their styles. And Let Me Go is very different from that. It's like more like sad, emotional, melodic, but I feel like the drop isn't really as iconic as Don't Forget Me. I feel like this one has more of a you know, like a melodic drop, you know, like with mixed with the guitars and like a lot of the Sullivan King elements. But I, I think I enjoyed it. Like in the album is not really a skippable song. I think it's really good. Uh, definitely the weaker of the two collabs, but I think I still think it's a good song. I don't think it's a like bad thing to have this song on the album, but I, I enjoyed it. I, I sometimes I, I like to listen to it every once in a while. So after Let Me Go, we have the title song of the album, Thrones of Blood, and this is actually a drum and bass song. It's a metal mixed with drum and bass mixed with some dubstep at the end. And honestly, I, it took me a while to get into it, but after a while I was like, okay, this actually slaps. It's really good for the gym to get you pumped up. And it's uh, like solo Sullivan King, like it's in, like nobody else, no collapse. And this is like the second one of his uh, singles for the album that is just him. And the drum and bass just works really good. It's really heavy. And I feel like the lyrics fit well with the song. I, I just feel like it's one of those songs that is just like full emo, full uh, getting ready to pumped up. I mean, the, the lyrics in Sullivan King songs are usually very emo, like very like uh, distinctive of like old songs. We had like really elaborate and crazy lyrics. And this one is just like that, you know, it's like, 
full on throttle with you know thrones of blood and uh, like action and I, I just like it i think it's a good song to get you pumped up then after thrones of blood we have one of my favorite songs in the album and actually i think it is my favorite uh besides that one and the next one after that but it is fall apart with with excision and it is the fifth excision collab with sullivan king and i gotta say this one just like the other one slaps really hard i feel like every single sullivan king and excision song has been just absolute gold from beginning to end i hope they never stop releasing music together because they just fit so well excision is known for his very distinctive heavy bass like his very distinctive style which is just absolutely heavy mixed with sullivan king's metal infused style i just feel like works fantastically and the drops in this one are just like really crunchy really powerful it just makes you like want to scream you know it's, and i listened to it on edc the day it was dropped and i just i just loved seeing it live i feel like this song is just amazing and I, it just fits really well with the other excision collaborations it's just a great song i like it it's one of my favorites so yeah i love it then after the excision collab we have actually a song i've been waiting for such a long time after years of being getting teased like uh, sullivan king a sudden death collaborations you know like little snippets here and there and played in festivals we got the first official release with sudden death and sudden death is another one of my favorite artists i feel like his style is very dark very uh just very uh powerful and i feel like it mixes very well with sullivan king's also like dark style and i gotta say like the the art cover is just freaking amazing like this is just look at this it's just so evil so crazy looking I, I just love this cover art and it fits really well with the style of both artists and yeah the song itself is really amazing it has sudden death's distinctive drops it mixes really well with sullivan king's voice and it's not really that heavy it's kind of like a mix of you know like really emotional powerful lyrics and then also like heavy stuff like it actually really builds up to the first drop and it has like a deathcore breakdown that is just so powerful and actually i just impressed like how monster cat releases songs these like this heavy like monster cat is usually known for like more softer dubstep you know like more i mean more like softer tunes like with monster cat instinct like house and all that stuff and now they release some of the most brutal albums i've ever listened to and it's just crazy and i love seeing sudden death in its full glory but anyways yeah this song is amazing it's just great and let's go with the full album now because these six singles really made me hyped and I gotta say, like, the new songs also are really great. So let's go on with the full album now. So now I'm gonna review Thrones of Blood from beginning to end, starting with Watch the Crown Fall. I feel like Watch the Crown Fall is a great intro. It's a Sullivan King solo song that I, I liked a lot. It's, uh, it's a, it, it just sets up the precedent for the album, like how, it, like the feeling, it's just kind of like a build up and it has some really powerful drops. I, I just liked it. It's a, you know, classic Sullivan King here, uh, but it, it, it didn't really like shine in, in like in many ways, but I still think it's a great intro for the album. Then after that, we have one of my favorite songs in the album. It is just such an amazing song. And it is a collaboration with one of my favorite up and coming artists, which is Vastiv and also Left to Suffer. And that is Die by My Hand. I love this song because it's just so amazing. It has a lot. It's just very metal. And that is something distinctive of Vastiv. He, he's another artist like Sullivan King that mixes metal with uh, dubstep. And his style is very distinctive. When you hear the song, you immediately recognize it as a Vastiv song. And Left to Suffer, I think it's a metalcore, deathcore band. I'm not really sure. I haven't listened to them. But I feel like it adds just that distinctive flair of, you know, infused metal with dubstep. It's just amazing. It just really, really uh, mixes the best out of both artists' styles. So yeah, Die By My Hand, definitely one of the best of the album. After that, we have Let Me Go with Willy, which I already discussed. And then we have End of Us, which is another solo Sullivan King song. And this is another song that is really melodic in the beginning, really emotional. And then it hits you with a really amazing drop with the you know, distinctive uh, Dwayne Johnson, Shut Up Bitch uh, sample. And it is just so funny because I saw it live in EDC Mexico. Shut up, bitch! <laughs> and it was just so great. Like it just transitions into a really heavy drop. And that is, it is just a good song. I, I feel like this one is another one, another one of the great uh, Sullivan King solo songs in this album. And yeah, one of my, uh, one of my favorite solo songs. I feel like this one is really great. It works really well. And I, when I listened to it for the first time, I was just like really raging in my car. I, I love this one. And it connects really well with the second song after this one, which is uh, 
came to rage the fifth song in the album and this one is more of a house like heavy bass house song and it has like a lot of really interesting elements it has like i think the second or third drop has a really interesting song i mean sound that reminds me of space laces for a few seconds and that is just a really really cool th way to uh, sullivan king to play with new styles new uh styles of dance music edm and i just liked it i think it was a really great uh transition at, at the end so yeah anyways i like uh came to rage and then after that we have pursuit of violence which is a nice uh point at the half halfway through the album i feel like that song it's kind of like an interlude going to the next half so after that we have the roadhog anthem which is a nice callback to a 2019 song when he says like i say let's get you say reckless because that is like a reference to his 2019 song reckless it's a great song but this one is also really good it's uh classic dubstep classic like heavy drops i i like this song it's a really great solo song from sullivan king I think it's also a great lead up into the next ones, which is basically all the singles he've released over the like, like the last couple of years, which continues with the Death March, then the Thrones of Blood uh, drum and bass song, all apart with Excision, which is a really great uh, lead up to the endings. And then we have Someone Else, a nice interlude, and continuing to the next and final collab, which is Riot with Kaiwachi. And also Kaiwachi is another great collaborator with Sullivan King. This is their fourth song together. I liked it. I think it's a great song, but I don't think it reaches the same level of quality as some of his other songs like Flatline and Between the Lines, which are also collaborations with Sullivan King. But I feel like it's also really good. I feel like this one hits really hard, especially with the buildup. Like, let's start a riot. It's just really, it's really powerful. And Kaiwachi sound is also, it's also, always shines. So I like this one. I think it's a great song in many ways. And I just enjoyed it a lot. So, and then after that, we have the final song in the album. And after that, we have the final song in the album called It's Gonna Hurt. And this one is another melodic song. It's another like more emotional, personal song for Sullivan King. And I, I just liked it. It reminds me of some of his other songs, like more emotional ones, for example, in 2019 in his other album, Show Some Teeth. Uh, he has a song called Why Don't You Love Me, which is also really similar. And it's just a, really similar. I think these albums that are heavy usually need a more, you know, softer, more melodic songs to kind of like counteract. And yeah, it makes this album like a very diverse uh, work of art. And I really enjoy Thrones of Blood. I feel like this album is really great. It has some of the best collaborations Sullivan King has done. But I feel like the solo songs could have been a little bit better. I honestly think his solo songs are like better in albums such as Show Some Teeth and some of his other EPs. I, I like, for example, in Show Some Teeth songs like Why, Why Don't You Love Me, Where Angels Die, Put Em Up. I feel like those are some of his best songs that is just him singing. And but I, I still think it's great. I, I feel like it's a great uh, addition to Sullivan King's catalog. And I just really enjoyed it. I feel like this album really shines the best of him. And I, I really like seeing some of these songs played live in EDC. So yeah, those are pretty much most of my thoughts on the album. I feel like it's a great uh, thing to listen to at the gym. Like we're getting really pumped up. If you like metal, if you love, like dubstep, you really enjoy Thrones of Blood. So overall, I'm going to give it an 82 out of 100. It's a very good album. Uh, really really amazing really heavy and yeah those are pretty much all my thoughts so if you like this video once again subscribe check out my twitch check out my instagram and my other channel tomorrow matters where i'll be uploading a lot of different content on technology and all that stuff so anyways those are all my thoughts for today and i'll see you later goodbye